Hi everybody, my name is Ashley Moretti. I'm the Curator of Collections and Exhibitions for the Erie Canal Museum in downtown Syracuse, New York. I'm coming to you today from Syracuse's West Side neighborhood. This is actually my neighborhood as well. And uh, I'm standing on the site of what was once the Marcellus Casket Company, founded by John Whiskers Marcellus, who was born in 1846 and came here in the 1870s to start his casket company. So as you can see, today this site is uh, home to Marcellus Commons, which is a mixed-use office building that also has some apartments in it. But at one time, this area held the buildings for the Marcellus Casket Company. Marcellus Caskets became known far and wide for their high quality, and uh, John Whiskers Marcellus was the first to use copper and zinc in the linings of his caskets. Uh, they became caskets for the rich and famous, including a couple of 20th century presidential couples, including Richard and Pat Nixon, John and Jackie Kennedy, and, uh, Na and Ronald and Nancy Reagan as well. Other notable folks that were buried in Marcellus caskets include, include Joe DiMaggio, Jim Henson, and tennis star Arthur Ashe. So the road right behind me is Erie Boulevard West, which at one time was the Erie Canal running through Syracuse. So Marcellus Casket Company had great proximity to the canal to transport their caskets across the state of New York. When the main building for the Marcellus Casket Company was built in 1889, it was one of the tallest buildings along the Erie Canal between Albany and Buffalo. Whiskers Marcellus was succeeded in the business by his, his son, his grandson, and then his great-grandson. Uh, he passed the company to his son, John C. Marcellus, and then on to his grandson, John F. Marcellus, and then his great-grandson, John D. Marcellus, was the last Marcellus in charge of Marcellus Casket Company. The company was acquired by Service Corporation International in 1997, and the very last Marcellus Casket was produced in 2003. So thanks for joining me today to learn a little bit more about a historic Syracuse business. Our museum is currently closed due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but we're gonna be reopening uh, sometime in the month of July. So when we do reopen, I hope you'll come and see my exhibit, Syracuse and the Erie Canal, 200 years. Thank you very much for supporting the museum through this difficult time. Stay safe.